What's up everyone and welcome to Rig of the Week. The video series where I try out a guitar amplifier, a guitar without any type of obligations. Just playing around, tweaking the knobs, trying to have a good time. So it's basically the same as every other video series I have. It's just that it's from this angle right here. <laughs> Today I'm trying out the Angle Fireball 25. And I mean look at how adorable this thing is. <laughs> Back in the day when the Fireball came out, you know, the, the big Fireball, it was basically like a simpler version of the Powerball, but with the same kick ass features, just that it has one row of knobs and not 400. Look at how adorable this is. I mean, look, it's 11 kilos. I think that's like 22 pounds or something like that. It has two channels, clean, distortion, it has mid boosts and all of that. Standby button for when you want to stand by. Noise gate, yes! That's great. When you're using an amplifier with a lot of gain, noise gate always helps. And at the back here, you also have a power soak option. So you can lower the wattage from, you know, full 25 watts down to 5, down to 1, and then speaker off. So you can use a direct out without having to hurt someone's ears. I'm using this Solar AB 1.6S going straight into a tube screamer right now, but it's off, okay? It's an Ibanez TS9. That goes into the Angle Fireball. The Angle Fireball goes into my Heisu 2x12 cabinet. And look at this weird uh, configuration right here. Why it have it set up like this? A SM58 and a Neumann TLM 102 on the same speaker is because this is a T75 speaker and it sounds absolutely kick ass. And with those two microphones, I also have that microphone over there, which is a LeWitt Room microphone. And I am ready to go. And it's actually on already, it's just that it's a noise kit happening. So. I forgot my coke bottle over there. All right, so right off the bat, we're on the lead channel, okay? It's nice to have a gate straight out of the box like this. <laughs> I want to, I want to, I want to switch out my guitar pick real quick. What's this? 1.0, okay. Uh. Sounds good to me, man. Okay, let's try. Let's try a little clean, okay. Okay, okay. That's a good clean, but you know what? All right, let's try the gain. Okay, now the gate is on maximum. It's just at the limit of, you know, getting out that amount of gain right there. But I mean, I wouldn't use this much gain for rhythm. 
Just saying. There you go. That's the spot right there. Okay, then we have something called mid boost. Let's just click that. Which I guess is a really fitting mode if we're just, you know, kicking in a lead tone for that matter. I mean, check this out. You have a rhythm tone like. That's the verse, and then you kick into lead, like... Right? So, and then back to rhythm. You get the idea. And these modes are obviously like foot switchable, if you're into that, so... That's some good edge right there, shit. That's a good chug. Okay, let me just try out a boost. So this is my Ibanez Tube Screamer TS uh, 9. Let's go. There it is. Maybe I have to sit a little bit here. Okay. Oh, solo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the app itself doesn't necessarily need the boost. It's a very tight and saturated type of distortion, but I mean, if you want to get the real thrash tones going, you might as well, you know, drop down the lead gain a little bit and just have a little boost happening. <laughs> Thank you. 
There you go, f me, man. I mean, even at this point, it's very, very loud. I have it at about under 9 o'clock. Let's just go a little bit higher. Yeah, that's ear piercing level right there. Uh, let me try and use the power soak just real quick. Okay, so this is 25 watt, really loud. It's probably maxing out my inputs on my audio interface, but you know, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit with the power soak. Okay, let's try it out. 5 watt. One watt. Speaker off. Yes. Okay, it's still on one watt. I cranked the master volume. Do I dare go back to full power? Okay. Yes, very loud. <laughs> Okay, now I know it's very loud. It was hurting my ears. Unfortunately, my dB meter is still not working, but uh, I can assure you that was loud. So there you go. That's the Angle Fireball 25 for you. I think it sounds absolutely kick-ass. It's about 900 euros, 900 dollars maybe, a, a grand in the US, but I think in Europe it's 900 euros. It's a pretty solid price. I mean, it's made in Germany as well, so made in-house with Angle. I think it's a good package. You get that Angle type of distortion happening. You get the noise gate, that's nice. If you want to push it just a little bit more, use an overdrive, you're set, you're good to go. If you enjoyed this video, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you next time. Thank you.